son passed away mbaye umempa neema katika ujana na katika uzee bwana namuombea hekima na maarifa ya mbinguni anapotuelekeza wazee kwa glory baptist naombea wote both sons and fathers tupe moyo wa kuelewa kiongozi wetu na moyo wa kusonga mbele kwa utukufu na heshima ya jina lako kwa jina la Yesu mwokozi wetu tunaomba amen all the best Idara yetu ya ashering itabidi tuifikirie na tuiombe ukisikia una moyo wa kukaribisha watu wanapoingia kwa ibada kanisani ujitokeze na usipojitokeza tutakuona tutakuona pia pia tumekuwa nafasi ya kukuona na kukusaidia ujue wewe asha siku hizi nimegundua kwa miezi karibu tatu nyuma huko watu wanashinda wakiota jua nje kila nikiendea mlango huu anatorokea hii nikiendea hii anakimbilia hii pengine kwa barabara na hivyo si vizuri nitakana ukija kanisa unajipanga unakaa hizi baadhi hiyo ni kazi ya asha na leta ripoti iwekwe pia kwa mipango ya ibada unaweza simama na neno la ushuhuda na ujenge mioyo zetu njo unione kwa ofisi nitakusaidia kama ushuhuda uko kombo kombo nitakusaidia kuweka ushuhuda mzuri ili ukisimama hapo unatoa ushuhuda na tunajengeka amen ikiwa ni ushuhuda wa baraka ninaweza ufadhiana hata kabla ni ubiri ili ujenge kanisa kanisa linajengwa pia na ushuhuda yako toa yako ile yenye Mungu amekusikia kuna kitu Mungu amekufanyia in life si iko hii miaka umekuwa hapa hii toa yako ile yenye Mungu amekusikia mimi nikiona binti kama mama Mike Ninaona tu mambo. Mimi nikiona binti kama yeye anaona mimi. Mimi naona tu mambo. Nikiona mzee kama Ken. Naona tu binti kama yeye anaona mimi. Mimi naona tu. Yaani toa ushuhuda. Hata ukisimama hapo unasema hakika leo mwaka wangu wa 20 ni Ebenezer. Yaani toa ushuhuda. Praise the name of the Lord. So unapewa hiyo nafasi ya kusimulia na kusema matendo ya Mungu. Ni ruhusu kwa sababu tulikosea vyombo vya baraka kupitia kina mama wetu. Pia nipate nafasi ya kuweka full clarification ya media team. Wakati unaona mkiona vitu kwa televisions kiona programs ziko kama BHB Eldoret Said mebarikiwa kiko na Riverside TV Riverside TV ni amubiri rafiki yetu mwenye hata ameshaubiri hapa na so many should be coming mambo ya media ni mambo na mengi kuna media ambayo ina involve mambo ya writing that's why we na bullet in every sunday mambo ya mambo ya media ambayo ina involve just in the sports so many different ways na media is big na hii tayari ni ishara kuonyesha kwamba Mungu anaendelea kubariki media media na hii tayari ni ishara kuonyesha kwamba praise the name of Jesus na hii vizuri kujipanga na kwenda mbele glory back to sky tunaweza weka TV tukiweka maono na kumwambia Mungu wa Nobel Award of Peace tunaweka program set we can honor the Lord we can praise the name of the Lord we can honor it we can and do things bora Mungu apeane hiyo nafasi na kibali hiyo vitu vifanyike. Na tunaweka hizo program zetu zote kwa mimi. Tayari mambo yanaendelea live kwa Facebook. Tunasema all hizo mitandao zipo. Bless the Lord. That is this. Now don't despise it all. Just imagine this sim every Sunday. Na don't despise hiyo imefanya moyo wa pastor ufikirie na wamama leo hii na kamera za elfu 200. Hapana despise it all ile tu mwanzo mdogo ndio naletanga mwanzo wa pili na mwanzo wa tatu na mwanzo tu mwanzo mdogo praise the lord tuliza sini hapa ameshaletea mimi ndoto nyingi za glory za lord tuliza sini naweza kwa mshikosi praise the name of the lord so ningependa wala mao tayari mko kwa hizo mshikilie kwa upendo so ningependa wala mao na kwa bidii yote watu wanaojua mambo ya kanda na kwa bidii wamejua mambo mengi sana By the way, kuna yule alisema hii tayari ni kazi. Alichukua hii mashine aanze kutembea nayo, analipa rendi 2020 na analisha watoto na anasomea. Analipa hado. Mesikia je, mesema? Kuna yule aniambia hii mashine atakuwa PA. 
analipa rendi 2020 za hii kila mwezi anasomesha watoto na analisha rendi 2020 anasomesha the Lord bless you are blessed to glory back so jumapili iliyopita niliona mambo yasitokeza vizuri I want to thank God for that. Mambo yasi tayari naomba usimame. Na kupa nafasi ya kutumika kabisa. Na ni fly sana sky. Yenye ni take over. Because mliona vile zaka take over. Please need to fly. Because kwa sababu alikaa tu akaangalia akaona kuna kitu anasaidi kufanya na kufanya. Kwa sababu alikaa mimi nilimuona akaona Alitembea hapo mbele kama anatoa sadaka na atateka kama anataka. Alitembea hapo mbele kama anatoa sadaka na atateka. Mimi napenaga hivi. Kuliko ule baada anasema hawani mimi napenaga hivi. Hawanijagui. Hawaoni hata mimi naweza jaribu. Wachana hiyo. Mimi napenaga. Nyumba ya Mungu inataka kujitokeza. Hawaoni hata huduma. Assist na kuombea. Thank you so much for that. Step. Hiyo ni mji asili. Sami hapo na yeye tayari tutasimama kwa sababu pia tutaongeza kitu hapo na yeye tayari fanya tu haya tutasimama kwa sababu pia glory back to church huyu kwa media ni kama samaki kuweka kwa bahari glory back to church huyu tayari ana sikuji ni kama samaki hizi nyimbo mnafurahia hizi kwaya zote tayari ana samaki hizi nyimbo mnafurahia tunashukuru Mungu Mungu kutupatia mtoto wa baraka kama wewe na jisikia at home patia mtoto wa baraka kama wewe ili chajienu kuna watu ambao wanaingia ndani bila tatizo lolote kuna watu ningependa kuwaongezea ndani kijana wetu shalom lolote shalom anapambana na mambo ya kamera saa hii kule Nairobi ana ujuzi shalom anapambana na mambo ya kamera okay mumule mumkuze pamoja siku hizi ninajua mnaweza wasiliana hata kwa simu hata siku kwa hapo sababu baada ya nasoma hiyo on bado mnaweza kusaidiana ana mambo mengi ana michango mingi alichangia na bastani mpaka alikimbia mpaka kule Nairobi na Porto number 2 ningependa kuwapatieni video where are you number 2 hata tayari akapenda hii ndio course hii hii songe hapa ndio rule hii ndio course yenye video amesomea the university of songe hapa na atuwezi chezea vipawa vya aina hii wakati vinaonekana katika yetu katika sikumbie atuwezi chezea vipawa vya aina hii ingia ndani tumikia Mungu nyinyi mmezaliwa hii kanisa mmelelewa hii kanisa jibunieni jakieni mara nyingi naongea na wazee wangu tunapoona watoto wetu wakinuka we bless them tunapoona mtoto kama pita leo akiimba praise and worship mimi nasikia raha kubwa ninajua kwamba we have future watoto wenye tumezaa tukanea wanaanza kujua kwamba we bless the lord watoto wenye tumezaa iko nafasi ya kina dada na mmesemekana mmeomba mmeongea mara nyingi kina dada finally pasan itamporeshe kujiambia kwamba ndugu amesema ni finally pasan so i want to welcome you daughter Usimame tuna usonge penye unaweza songa so that you pray. Watu hawa watano songa so that mume tosha kujiorganize. Watu hawa watano na kuunganisha. Kuna technical team. Kuna wa, kuna ma sponsors humo ndani humo. Kuna watu waombea, kuna vitu vingi. Na unajua mwili wa Kristo unafanya kazi wa kuombea. Amwezi peke yenu bila wale wako pale hawawezi peke yao bila nini unaweza kuwa na kamera hapa na mimi sina salmon eh? kama sina salmon pia sasa mtarekodi unaona so it is about to sina salmon pia sasa mtarekodi okay sasa kile ufanye kila mmoja ashike eneo lake and then kuna ile mambo ya kuingiana kwa sababu mimi nikisema nikuja hapo nitafaribu muda wangu wa salmon naweza jikunda hata mimi but i don't need to come Tukisema tukue wale wa, wa mitambo wa kubeba speaker hawatajua kubeba kama watapasua baba wanajua kubeba heavyweight eh? are you hearing me wanajua mtu ananua hii speaker hii ni kitu gani tangu cha chini eh au mwache ainue speaker wanajua mtu ananua viti wacha inue viti wa cables wacha inue cables 
wafungulunda tamba kule kama pangeni hizo idara zote vizuri na hiyo ndio kazi ya viongozi katika kanisa la bwana na mnapofanya hivyo kanisa la bwana linafanya kazi ya viongozi kwa sababu kazi ya Mungu sio mashindano na mnapofanya ya Mungu ni kushikana pamoja na kujenga Mungu na kila mmoja ana kifaa chake ana nafasi yake na mjadieni na kila mmoja na kwa Mungu hakuna mwenye wako jua machini sisi sote ni na hata wewe mshirika ukiona kitu chochote kinahitaji kuwekwa nguvu weka nguvu na kazi kwa haleluya so that is the way to go simama kwa bariki no bila wamesimama sajika simama kwa inulie tu mkono hiyo lija yetu jende mbele Mungu aibanue aibanikishe kwa wote ndoto za kupanua hii media kwa wote ndoto tukijenga Bethel house tutapeana nyumba nyumba iko hapo full house yenye itakuwa ni ya kurekodi sample hata sample zingine itakuwa ni kurekodi Thursdays ina rekodi nyingine na inapeperushwa inaenda watu wanabarikiwa in the name of the Lord baba kwa jina la Yesu Kristo na kwa uwezo wa Roho Mtakatifu Jumapili ya leo tarehe mbili Oktoba the year 2020 tunakushukuru madhabahu ya God Baba kuendelea kuona jinsi ambavyo wanaweka ufunguo mkubwa zaidi kwa media yetu tunasema sana naombea hao wamesimama watenda kazi tunawafunika kwa damu yako tunawafunika na neema ya Roho Mtakatifu na kibali cha Mwenyezi Mungu uwatumie kwa viwango vikubwa ninajua kwamba hata kwaya tunaweza kuwa recorded katika media yetu tunaweza fanya mambo makubwa kwa utukufu wa jina la ninaomba baba uwalinde uwajenge uwatende mema Asante kwa mkono wa akina mama ambao tayari umeongeza nguvu mpya kwa media ya kanisa letu. Tunawaombea baraka, tunawaombea kibali. Jehova Jaire tembea pamoja nao kwa maisha yao yote. Roho ya kujinua na kiburi na mashindano yote na ipinga katika jina la Yesu. Tunapanda moyo wa ujijengevu, moyo wa upendo, moyo wa furaha, moyo wa kuendeleza kazi ya Mungu wetu. Na afya njema iwe kwa maisha yao na familia zao zote. Kwa jina la Baba la Mwana Roho Mtakatifu, tumeomba na kaza tuseme Amen. Pigie Yesu makofi mazuri. Oh. Yes. Restrengthening of the media. Mungu wa glory baptize yes. yake mimi ninamfahamu. Ninamfahamu. Tunatajanga tu bibi hiyo na baadaye vinatokezeka. Haleluya. Dar is why tunapenda kukumbuka miaka yetu sababu tuna vitu tunaweza angalia nyuma na tuseme hakika tunaona Bwana akifanya hivi. Tunaweza angalia nyuma na tuseme Bwana akifanya hivi. Ah. Tunaona Bwana. Nafikiri nimekumbuka la mwisho na ili pia ni mzuri before I start preaching praise the name of the lord ah uh, asante sana asante pastor wetu kwa mambo ya 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 asante sana jumba gani tunajenga ya ya jumba gani tunajenga in god nickname na ulisema nzuri mama kevin sante nickname That was very nice nilifikia praise the name of the lord uh, niliwa, niliweza kuambia kwamba praise the name of the lord uh, mweze, mweze hii nyumba unajua wakati mtu anafanya ujenzi uweze kuna kazi ingine unajua wakati mtu anaweza kuwekelea tu kuna kazi ingine wale wanajua ma- mambo ya ujenzi kuna wakati ambapo wale wanajua ma- mambo ya ujenzi kuna wakati ambapo baje ta kuweka wimbo kidogo wale wale ambao wanajua mambo ya ujenzi kuna kitu fulani wewe wale ambao wanajua mambo ya ujenzi kwa mfano wakati wote unachimba una msingi lazima upige hesabu kidogo mfano wakati wote alao watu wazidi lazima upige hesabu bora unaweza kimpa msingi na mkoa ikafuni alao watu wazidi kabla hapo huku jipata na ikifika pia unaanza kuendelea mbele lazima pia uwe steady the way na ikifika pia wewe sema tu leo inaamuka inafaa kuplana kifanyike the way na jengo wetu Mungu alitusaidia na tukaweka hiyo foundation. Now let me tell you I'm very happy because of that foundation. Na tukaweka hiyo foundation. Wewe uwezi kujua. Let me tell you 
lakini hesabu zilizofanyika ndio hiyo foundation hiyo imesimama hapo ni nyingi ni nyingi za hesabu mention sizes of everything and na lazima mimi ningekuepo inge watu wengine walikuwa wameachwa itengenezwe na foreman hata ngia akiingia peke yake kwa hiyo kombe hiyo ndio maana ya kubeba maoni hata ngia na unaweza tania kumcheza na iko wakati when you carry a vision there are so many things that are on you kama baje iko wakati when na Mungu alitusaidia wakati tuliweka hiyo foundation yenye iko hapo pia tu kukuaza tumejanga yenye inaweza weka lakini Mungu ni nani alitusaidia tuweka msingi inaweza weka kwa 1300 lakini na hiyo ndio naona na Mungu wa glory baptize hapo na na tungali tunangoja tuweke hii inaitwa hata store ya kuweka vitu vya hata store room ile inaitwa strong room naita strong room iko mahali pake na tutakuwa na nafasi ya kuweka vitu vyetu bila tatizo strong bali naita strong labda uwe huelewi ama na tutakuwa na nafasi ya kuweka vitu wezi strong bali uwekelea kukoroga labda uwe huelewi ama let's say for example wezi strong bali uwekelea kukoroga uwe huelewi ama that's why niliwaambia tujange pesa nafikiri tukianza tulikuwa tunazungumzia elfu kama milioni moja 1 point change pesa that was the end nafikiri tukianza tulikuwa tunazungumzia haya i think today if i'm not wrong that was hiyo club hiyo tuko chunga milioni 2 na tunazama i thought hatuna shida na tuogopi hiyo jehovah jai tuko chunga milioni atatusaidia hiyo ndoto ita On Thursday ni kwa ofisi nikauliza nikatupa text ya hiyo kwa account yetu yenye inaendaka On Thursday ni kwa ofisi ya kwamba nikauliza kaliet tunachangia every Sunday hiyo kwa account ile fikisha yetu yenye inaendaka Are you ready to know what you are going to do Text message nilipata hapa kwa mmoja wa tellers wa hiyo account by the way ata miss yaenda hiyo bank tangu tuanze kusema kitu kwa ofisi alisema sasa message ya pay 595,000 by the other is 600 that is your money alisema sasa message ya pay 595,000 ni kama kofi wale ni kwa kwa Mungu wewe unaweza pata hapo pesa kama hii kwa kidogo kidogo tunaweza fikiria ni mchezo tunafanya basi tunaenda 595 right wewe unaweza pata hapo pesa kama hii kwa kidogo kidogo na pesa yetu tunafanya basi iko salamu wacha matatizo mengi na wasiwasi na mambo ya hiyo kuna wakati wazee niliona mtaka mchanganyiko wacha matatizo mengi na wasiwasi na mambo ya mnasema kuna wakati tunajua tunafanya this is your money this is your money this is just money mnataka kujua sio Mungu jaribu kucheck this is your mwenye anasema ya 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 better house check yeye kwa department sema because unajua unaweza sema ya better house ninatoa fungu la kuku check kwanza kuna because ni lazima unajua unaweza sema tukikutana na watu kwa idara fulani kwa kwa idara fulani wewe si mwafiki kwa idara fulani si mwafiki kwa idara fulani family mimi mwa observation nikiangalia nilifanya pamoja na miezi tangu nitangaze ile kaidara tunatoa ndio lakini hiyo mwendo observation nikiangalia nilifanya pamoja na miezi tangu ndio very ndio let's go nikiweka average ya pesa hiyo tunatoa hapa ile hesabu kidogo naweza fanya every sunday
hiyo inamaanisha tutembee kwa muda gani ndio tuweke mimi ni mkubwa hiyo inamaanisha tutembee kwa muda gani 500 man ndio tuweke miezi miatano miezi miatano divide by 12 ni miaka miezi miatano Bye bye Jose Yonanga. Yeye ni accountant. Mimi ni mpiga ripoti kwa yani mungu anisaidia kwa nini. Hiyo ni miaka Jose Yonanga. Yeye ni accountant. Mimi ni mpiga ripoti kwa yani mungu anisaidia kwa
Praise the name of the My Lord. New International the Version says, to do as Jesus and his disciples were on their way, the book of Luke he came to a village where a woman named Martha opened her, her home to him. Again. She had a sister called Mary, who sat at the Lord's feet, listening to what he said. But Martha was distracted by all the preparations that had to be made. She came to him and Lord, don't you care that my sister has left me to do the work by myself? Well, help me. She came to him, Martha, and the Lord answered, Lord, you are worried and upset about me. Many things, somebody said many things. But a few things are needed. She came to him, Martha, or indeed, Lord, only one. You are worried and upset about me. Many things, somebody said many things. But a few things are needed. But a few things may the Lord bless you. Or in, in our today's scripture, the way it is said, I want to bring across three truths that can help us know why Jesus allowed this picture to be there. We have life and we have to live life. The way and this life, I want to there is what is important, and sometimes there are things that are not important. There are things that are special and others are not. And you need to we know that God considers close in this life what we do. There is what is important, and that is why I bring this message the greatest thing that are not to do in this life. There are things that are sober man is always the second man. And you need to know of the cycle of God in our church. Life. What we do. That today's message and that rotates around Mary and Martha. Their home was called Bethany. Two miles southeast of Jerusalem. If you read John chapter 11, Verse 8, verse 18, that you will see where Bethany was. On the eastern slope of Mount Olives, that was Bethany. It was also the home of Lazarus. If you remember the story of Lazarus, who was, uh, who was risen by the Lord Jesus Christ from the dead, happened in Mount Olives. There are biblical truths that are known about Bethany. Number one, Bethany, whenever Jesus stepped in Bethany, something was remembered very special. That their home was a home of hospitality. It was a home of love for Jesus. And that is one of our Bethany, whenever Jesus stepped in Bethany, Yani Wakati Yesu alikuwa nafanya kazi yake dunia hii. When he stepped in Bethany, nyumbani kwa kina Mary, Martha, na Lazaro, Jesus fell Hospitality. Kama kuna mahali yesu angekula hata sapa. Na nikuwa na study, nikaona hata wakati yesu alikuwa natoka dunia hii, ni woka na unibeta ni angalawa sabie hawa yetu sisa. It was also known for their faith in the resurrection of Lazarus. John chapter 11. John chapter 11 teaches us when Lazarus was buried, all days in the tomb. Akawa mefunikwa kabisa. Jesus came. A friend of Lazarus. Jesus walks in Bethany and he rises. All about faith. Utaona wakisumbuka na imani. But yesu walikuwa nasema kwamba I am the resurrection. And I am the night. So in Bethany, it was known that Jesus is resurrection and his night. In Bethany, we can also see what we call the conflict of listening to Jesus and serving Jesus, which is our today's in Bethany, it was known a good conflict, very positive, whereby Jesus has come in your home. Yes, I may put them there. And then two things come up. One sister decides which is our meaning. Nitakikisha kwamba Yesu anakula kitu kwetu. Remember, ni hope of hospitality. Jesus has come in your home. Yesu amekula kitu kwetu. Kama And then two things come up. One sister decides. Anaenda kwa miguu ya Yesu kama hapo kwa sasa pasta na anaka. Yesu anakula kitu kwetu. Alafu anaangalia kitu kwetu. Anakuza kitu kwetu. And then kind of a conflict comes up. I don't know if you read it very well. But wakati ambapo Martha anamwendea Yesu, hakumwendea kwa uzuri. I don't know if you have ever heard a voice like this one. Nikitoka kwa sister. Huyo ni mwanadada anasema. Lord, wakati ambapo Lord is in Egypt. 
Don't you care that my sister has left me to do this thing alone? Kuna chochote ambacho ni makosa. Martha desires to prepare a good meal for Jesus, whereby Mary chooses to sit at the feet of Jesus and listen to him. Both things are necessary and good, but it is good to focus on the Christ. Somebody say amen to that. All of them are good, but it is important to focus on the grace. God gave us an opportunity this year, glory, but it's good. We had a man called Children's Month in April. Somebody say, Amen. We had a man in July called Men's Month in April. Tumekuwa na mwezi unaitwa Youth Month in this year, glory, but it's good. Here we have, tumekuwa na mwezi unaitwa Women's Month. September ime. Let me tell you, hizo zote ni nafasi Bwana anatupa katika hii maisha. But it is very important as we close the 26th year. Jesus is asking, what is this best thing that you will do for me in this year? It is important to choose that grace. But it is now, why am I talking about the greatest thing to do? According to this scripture, number one, the very main thing for me that Jesus wanted them to know was that our relationship with Christ is very important. Praise the name of Jesus. Usiano wetu na Yesu ni wa muhimu sana wana wa Unapoishi katika dunia hii na mambo yote unaruhusiwa kufanya. Please Jaribu tuvyo vyote vile kuhakikisha kwamba uhusiano wako na Bwana Yesu uko imara. Unapoishi katika Our relationship with Christ verse 38 to 50 speaks clearly when Jesus was on his way he comes to a village and he finds a woman by the name Martha and she opened their home. For him. Why did they open the home? Relationship speaks clearly when Jesus There is a difference between being spiritually committed to God and being preoccupied with your religious practices. You can do so many practices in life. To be, and let me tell you, especially the women in the world spiritually is full of religious practices and they have no any connection with the relationship. You can do so many practices in life. To be even a family in the name of God. You can be preoccupied with all those things. My nation. As much as Martha desired to prepare a good meal for the Lord, she was anxious about she complained about her sister Mary to an extent that she refused to be Christ by saying, Don't you care? As much as you put me to the Lord, Jesus is the most when it comes to death. She don't care that my sister has left me to do the work by myself. Tell her to help me. Don't you care? On the other hand, Martha was saying, I have all this work and my sister Mary. She don't you care that my sister has left me to do the work by myself. It is not right. Sometimes to get to that point, because Munga and Angalia, what is the greatest? In First John chapter three, verse sixteen, the Bible says, "Dear children, let us not love with words or speech, but with actions." Sometimes to get to that point, praise the Lord. Munga and Angalia, did you hear that? First John three, verse eighteen. When John was writing to his beloved children, my dear children, let us not love with words. Whenever we do anything for the kingdom of God, truth and love is very key. Let us not love with one. Mungu anaangalia, how loving are we? Leo ni mefewa bro. Whenever we do anything, and I was very much happy to see this, na araka sana ni kapitisha mata. Can I have, can I see yeyote mwenye amekwata inye nafana na hivu kama ya mati? Unajua kukupati yangi tukwa kuzepe kwa 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 k
And he has spoken so many things about love. How you can love God. How you can love yourself. How you can be a Christian who is full of love in the church. How you can love sinners and help them come to Jesus. Today. Find time and read it before you give it to another friend. Praise the name of the Lord. Wakati unafanya kitu yote kwa Mungu, anaangalia sana in the church. Nilikuja Na nikaambia moyo wangu mpata stop na nikaambia moyo wangu how i wish wa mama wange celebrate jumapili yao na sande yao kama rangi imetengenezwa sababu mvua imenyesha nyingi imeoshosha na nikaambia moyo wangu na jambo lenye nilisema kwa hiyo kona nilisema mungu usinisaidia jumapili yao hii si vitu vya sande yao kama rangi imetengenezwa sababu mvua imenyesha nyingi Tuesday is even in the I think I was supposed to be supposed to be a supposed to but how are you doing it? Angels when you're angels when you're on a list. And you know, I'm one of them when you want to end up there. I told mom, how are you doing it? And you are partakers of those things. Praise the name of you. Now, what am I saying? Kazi ya mungu. Na naomba mwana glory ushike ita. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Let me see your hand. Hallelujah. Are you ready for this? Kazi ya mungu. Ukitaka kukumutumisi ya mungu. Kazi ya mungu. Unasikia, unasikia mwito. Nina moyo. Nina upendo. Wakutumisi ya mungu. Kuna mambo mangati wezi. Kazi ya mungu. Ukitaka wezi ya mungu. No kia wacha inje. Utaimba suwibu maisha yako yo. Jambo la kwanza. Liko katika kitabu cha maati kukuna. Mutu moja mafarsawa kauliza. Mambo mangati. Amri kubwa ni gani? Yesu akasema, amri zote ni kubwa lakini ziko kwa kitu moja. Naenda kwa na Mungu wako kwa moyo wako wote nguvu zako zote roho yako yote akili yako yote na utakuwa umetimiza hiyo amri. Na ya pili inakaribia hiyo, penda jirani yako. Bila unajipenda mwenyewe. Kumtumikia Mungu namba 1 kwa na Mungu ni lazima hakika uoshe moyo wako mpende moyo yote na utakuwa umetimiza yes. Lazima usafiri kwa moyo wako upende Mungu cha ukweli. Yaani hata Mungu akiwa binguni anakuona kweli unampenda. Unajua unaweza sema unampenda Mungu lakini wewe Penda tu Mungu with all your heart, with all your soul, upende Mungu cha ukweli. Yaani hata Mungu akiwa binguni anashua yu kanyaga hapa utaona cha kufanya. Unajua unaweza sema unampenda Mungu lakini wewe Lakini without love, utawaiona. Utasikiaga tu kitu unapenda. Love your heart. Secondly, you must love you. Let's not open the church. You have to let your glory pass. If you are the you talk about it. You pray for it. Now, what you are now open the church, you are on a two of the end. Hallelujah. You are on a two of the end. You are on a two of the end. Because you open the Hata hauta shurutisho kufanya chochote Bitu kitapanyika Utawana tu mwenyeo kifanya bitu Kwa hini mbatunda ya kifanya Hauna pesa Ya kumunua kamera Siku gani umesha ingia kwa hii chai No kata kukota matawi Ya miti ya inangusha Tunajia hii miti inangusha matawi No kamwa tuleo na kukia msatisha chachi yangu No kata kukota matawi kwa ukoto kwa ukoto kwa ukoto No kaiweka kama mbolea mo kachoko mo Love of your chachi Are you here in me? Kupenda chachi yangu Kuta kusaidia But if you don't love your chachi You don't have to nezo nge chocho Love of your chachi La mwisho na hilo sasa ndio nimelemea wewe. Mama kupenda chachi. Inaitwa sakana. Kutakusaidia. But if 
na ukiingia hiyo msuni na baadaye uanze kukimbishana na sugura basi wewe uelewe umeenda kuinda hii ukiingia huko msuni eh sugura anajaribu umeenda kuinda ndo somebody say amen tell your neighbor aim at greatness please aim at greatness kama ni mwalimu shuleni atakwambia aim higher Tunaandikanga kwa report card video. Hey, at great. Hata katika hii maisha yetu ya church hii. Iko tuswara na tusumbura na vitu ndogo. Kama ni mwalimu shule. Elewa mwana glory baptist. We are here to aim at great. Notice that Jesus does not tell Martha to sit down. Did you notice that? Neither does he tell Mary to get up and help us. What? Nikiwa Yesu ana upendo sana. Yesu anajua mambo mazuri. Na Yesu ndiyo muungwana kwa wote. Imagine Martha na complain. Yaani wewe haujali. Na Yesu amwambii, at sasa wewe amuka, uende ukae kwa miguu ya Yesu. Yesu anaambia Mariamu ataamka kwa miguu ya Yesu, enda saidia Yesu. Anasikia kitu kinachotaka na anaweka ikwa. Jesus never told. Na Yesu amwambia yote kutoka kwa Yesu. Both sisters were doing what was pleasing to the Lord. One was serving and one was listening. Somebody say amen to that. One was serving and another one was listening. In answer to Martha's complaint and distraction, Jesus gently told Martha, Jesus never has chosen. Both sisters were doing what was pleasing to the Lord. One was serving because best Vita mbele ni best na kianga Mungu mwenyewe because Mungu ndiye best but at least we can choose what is better praise the name of Jesus we can at least choose what is best and so Mary has chosen what is better because Mary had chosen to listen to the words of life by listening to Jesus and by desiring to be we can at least choose what she was showing him honor she was also receiving the blessings of Jesus. Just imagine to Jesus, upatane na nafasi ya kukaa chini ya miguu ya Yesu. Bila shaka kuna kitu kitachoka. She receives the blessings as a joy of God. Some Christians spend more time in service and different kinds of work while other Christians spend more time in prayer in meditation and worship. At least I'm an innocent. But I tell you, whatever you do, aim at other Christians, aim at things that are in prayer. Let everything they do be done out of love of Christ and Christ with you. Colossians verse three, chapter three, verse twenty-three. The Bible says, whatever you do, do it with all your heart as the Lord. If you make a decision to do things to bring glory to God, then you are the first one. That is among the great things. Amen. Unafanya mambo ukilenga kwamba mungu na mungu peke yake abokeo. Those are great. That is those are great things. But if you do things maybe for some other reasons, then the first thing is that mungu peke yake abokeo. One for two speaks out there. Finally, when we talk about doing great things with the Lord, we need to know Him and to walk. Thank you for that, good man. We need to know Him and to walk. When we talk about doing great things with the Lord, know Jesus personally and walk with Him. Hakikisha umemujua Yes. Na unatende ya pamoja. No. Hakikisha hakika Yesu anapoangalia wale ambao ni watoto wake unamfahamu Yesu. Na yeye anakufahamu. Hakikisha kwa sababu anasema katika Yohana 10 wale wanaomjua yeye wanamwendea Yesu na yeye huwa anawaita na wanafikia Make sure you know him. Kwa sababu our Christian or religious practices the way I've said earlier need to be born out of love for Jesus from a devotion. You devote yourself to Jesus and then actions. Our Christian or religious practices the way I've said earlier. Open with me Mark chapter 12 verse 9 that one if you can. Mark chapter 12 verse 9 
you can really master yourself when Jesus talked about this love for me that is what I was telling you in the beginning penda mungu kwa moyo wako wote na roho yako yote Yesu ali summarize amri kumi zote kwa hiyo sheria tu moja penda mungu kwa moyo wako wote na ya pili penda jirani we dare not just to keep busy doing good things if we have no time to sit at the feet of Jesus and if we do not pray and worship our services become dry and powerless on the other hand if we do not work if we do not do the works of service because we have also to do the works of service our religious because James says in James chapter 2 verse 17 in the same way faith by itself it is not faith and deeds is accomplished so what do we James says in James what do we do I'm not trying to say that sitting at the feet of Jesus ndio inasaidia ufanye ama kufikia Yesu chakula I'm simply saying try to know the wisdom ambayo Mungu anataka utembe nayo katika hii maisha ndio inasaidia ufanye kwa sababu unaposema kwamba sasa mimi nitaishi tu kwa maombi na kwa Yesu kwa miguu ya Yesu naye Yakobo anatuambia imani ikikosa matendo imekufa Muta aweza akakuja kwako akiwa na njaa na namwambia Mungu akubariki Muta akiwa na njaa apewe chakula Muta akiwa hana nguo apewe nguo yake But let me tell you of all that we do Unaona unaweza pea mtu chakula na ndani ya moyo wako there's no love there's no truth Labda unampatia kuondokea Unaona hiyo ume miss the point but you can give this food to a person kwa moyo wote na kwa upendo wote na conviction ya Christian faith yako inasema kwamba it is a blessing to be a blessing to one another the lord will bless that action so munga anatusaidia leo jamani huduma ya Martha na Mariamu yote ni safi lakini jitahidi sana katika lolote unafanya aim at the great things as you aim at the great things make sure you know him and you are doing because you know him and you are walking in him jina lesu lipe sifa let each of us seek god's guidance concerning how much time we should spend in serving the lord as well as prayers in worship let us also not forget what jesus said to martha only one thing is needed kitu kimoja peke yake na verse 42 only one thing is needed do you know what that one thing that thing is spiritual fellowship with Jesus Christ. We need to know him and we need to walk with him. John 15 verse 5 the Bible says, Yohana 15 mahubiri ya Yesu ya mwisho akitoka dunia hii, mstari wa 5 mimi ni mzabibu wa kweli. Tawi ninapokanda ni yangu akasema mstari wa 5 I'm the vine and you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you Naona technician wetu akotoni. Can we read together? John 15 verse 5. I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. Know him and walk in him. And then, vitu vingine vitajitokeza. Mary knew this very well. Fellowship with Christ will not end even in death. Hata kwa kifo, wanao tembea na Yesu kama Enoch, watapata na fasi ya kuenda na Yesu. Hata kifo, hakita ondoa usiano wetu na mwenyezi mungu. Christ is to be in the midst of all our duties. This is more on the right attitude in both service and fellowship in worship. Why do we do what we do for Christ? Does it matter? Yes, it matters. Philippians chapter 2 verse 5. In your relationships with one another, have the same spirit, the same mindset as Christ Jesus. Imagine we need to grow. And I thank God, glory, Baptist Church. No, sipitwe na theme yetu. Because I've realized sometimes, theme ina kufikia, tunamaliza ndi onaelewa. Umebakisha mwezi moja mbili hivi. You can still understand wakati munga alisema towards full Christian maturity or growth alimanisha nini? 
we need to grow to a level whereby whatever we do tunapofanya chochote ni ya Yesu inakuwa tu ni kama ya Kristo amen paula akasema na nia ile the mindset yenye ilikuwa tu ndani ya Kristo na iwe ndani yetu how i desire to see the church today doing things full of the attitude of Jesus Christ the church is the best place to be if we choose to do that let us all remember under this that there is only one thing needed hello one thing needed one thing is needed fellowship with Christ and when i was thinking about that i said it is fellowship with Christ and fellowship in Christ Jesus you need that that can never be taken away from me and it will never be taken away from all of us fellowship with jesus the greatest thing to do in this life number one, our relationship with christ and in christ jesus secondly aim at the great things and finally know him and walk with him ukiwa na masikio una nafasi ya kusikia Mungu wetu anasema nini na hiyo ndio discipleship mwanafunzi wa Yesu anafanya yote kwa ukufu wa baba simama kwa mguu wako tuombe unastahili kuabudiwa unastahili e Unastahili kuabudiwa Unastahili bwana wa mabwana Unastahili kuabudiwa Unastahili ewe Yesu Unastahili kuabudiwa Unastahili falme wa wafalme Mwambie tu bwana unastahili kuabudiwa. Oh unastahili ewe Yesu unastahili kuabudiwa. Unastahili kimbili yote tu unastahili kuabudiwa. Unastahili Sante kwa neema na rehema zako mtakatifu nina kutukuza nina kuinua Jumapili ya leo unastahili kuinuliwa mfano wa amani asante kwa kutupa uzima asante kwa kutupa maisha haya tunayoishi Jehovah uishie milele tusaidie kwa sababu tuna nafasi ya kuamua kufanya yaliyo bora mambo yaliyo ya muhimu ya maana mbele zako Jehovah uishie milele asante kwa kuruhusu tuweze kupata ukweli huu Kuhusu wanafunzi wako Martha na Mariam ewe mfalme baba utusaidie ni lazima tujidhihirishe katika kazi za dunia hii katika huduma za hapa na pale mabwana mabwana pia ni lazima tuwe na nafasi ya kukuabudu wewe nina kushukuru kwa sifa ambazo nilipatia Mariam amechagua fungu lililo bora ninaomba kwa jina la Yesu Kristo tusaidie kama kanisa lako kuchagua fungu ambalo litakubora machoni pako utukuzwe na usifiwe milele thank you king of glory thank you precious savior uko kwa ibada ya jumapili ya leo na hujapeana maisha yako kwa Yesu ili uanze hii safari ya uhusiano mzuri na bwana Yesu inaanza na kuokoka the first thing ni kuokoka unachagua kumpa Yesu maisha yako Yesu akuokoe. Je, kuna mtu yote kwa ibada hii hajaokoka? Na anasema leo ninaokoka leo. Nyosha tu mkono wako. Nitakuombea utapokea Yesu. Utatoka hapo ukiwa na Yesu ndani ya maisha yako. Kunaye? Nyosha tu mkono wako and I'll pray with you. Because that is how it starts. Bora utachagua chagua anga tu vitu vya dieleweki na tutataka uchague Yesu. Kunaye? I think much yangu haijaona 
matokeo ya hayo mambo yote na shughuli zote hakuna chochote kitakufungua kwa sababu ni mapili ya leo ni mauti yangu lote utakusika kufanya ikumbukwe matokeo ya hayo mambo yote Mungu wa mbinguni aseme bila alimwambia Mariamu Mariamu umechagua kuja leo na hata ili fungu ukiondoka tena hii halitaondolewa Mungu wa mbinguni aseme bila alimwambia na mtu mmoja Nimefanya nimefanya kazi. Kaniambia nimefanya mwaka mmoja mbili kazi. Kati ni budi kiondoka dunia hii. Toa jasho ameandikwa Mungu ana babani. Akawa ananiambia niombe mtumishi wangu akasema. Nikiangalia nyuma hii miaka 13 nimefanya mwaka mmoja mbili. Hakuna chochote naenda hesabu nimefanya. Jasho ameandikwa. Jumapili ya leo ana babani. Matokeo mazuri yanataka yaonekane kwa lolote. Nikiangalia nyuma hii miaka Ukikumbukwa na Mungu utapanda mboga na ita, italeta mafanikio. Ukikumbukwa na Mungu utaanza biashara kidogo Bwana ataipa. Matokeo mazuri yanataka yaonekane. Mungu tukiamua kwamba ukumbuke. Let me tell you. Ukibiki kidogo venye vimekaa kama vimekaa vitaonekana. Kwa sababu kila wakati Mungu anataka ajikumbuke na maisha biashara kidogo Bwana ataipa. Hata kama ni karo ya shule itapatikana kwa ukumbukwa. Let me tell you. Amua tu ya kwamba Mungu kusoma kwangu kukutukuze. Lolote ninafanya ni kukutukuze. Hata kama ni karo ninaomba. Baba kwa jina la Yesu Kristo na kwa uwezo wa Mungu. Ninakushukuru kwa maneno ya ajabu kama lolote ninabulia nzungumuza nyakati zako za mwisho za kutoka dunia. Baba kwa jina la Yesu kupita katika uwezo wa Mungu. Nyumbani ambako ulitenda kwa maneno ya nyumbani kwenye uliingia na ulikaribisha ulikuja kati za mwisho 
hata maandiko yameandikwa kwa jina Mariamu Martha na Lazaro tunakaja ndo lilala wakati ilikuwa hivi na ukiwa pale mwokozi umeruhusu tuone picha hii tuone huu shuhuda tuone huu kweli ya kwamba dunia hii kuna mambo mengi katika ya maisha tunayoweza kujihusisha nayo na ni vizuri kwa lolote tunalolifanya leo tulenge bila ambalo ni la muhimu huu katika maisha ya kwamba kwa sababu maisha umetupea na umetupatia uweza kujihusisha we are not just living for the sake of lolote tunalolifanya there is a reason it is my prayer this afternoon uwaguze na uwasaidie kila mmoja kwa nafasi hatutafanya mambo bora kufanya we shall not just do things for the sake of doing for your word is clear whatever we do for the lord is not uwaguze that is my prayer for these children of Jesus the lord watakalo lifanya mfano nipate kumbukumbu macho ni pale thank you my father mungu wangu na baba yangu wale waliingia kwa ibada hii wakiwa na udhaifu nataka kuwaombea uponyaji nataka kuomba afya wawe ni watoto wawe ni vijana wawe ni wazee natangaza afya kwa mili zao katika jina la Yesu Kristo kila aina ya maradhi kila aina ya magonjwa kila aina ya udhaifu yote tunaikausha kwa damu ya Yesu na ikapate kushindwa katika natangaza afya kwa mili zao kila aina afya za simawa kila aina ya mafundisho kila kwa watoto wako mwezi huu inatangaza mwezi wa mapenzi mwezi wa baraka mwezi wa kutoka hatua moja na kwenda hatua nyingine ninakataa mambo ya kuzunguka mahali pa moja ninakataa mambo yenye unafanya kazi kwa jasho na uone faida hiyo kazi natangaza tutaona faida ya kazi zetu tutaona faida ya kazi zetu tutaona faida ya kazi zetu katika china la Yesu Kristo. Naomba baraka na naomba mafanikio. Linda nyumba zao, linda maisha yao, linda familia zao. Kanisa la glory limebarikiwa. Tunakupenda na kwa furaha na kwa shukrani tumechagua kujia bwana Yesu makofi mazuri ya shukrani. We celebrate you Jesus. We celebrate you Jesus. We celebrate you Jesus. Thank you. Sasa tunaherisha kushirika kwa kusema baba yetu ndiye pia mabosi na lango ni kukuzwa. We celebrate Jesus. Tena